Guys, welcome back to HBO. We just had our first match finish. Show one, three to two over EGOP, queuing up Hunter three straight times to end his round. Yeah, crazy stuff we saw from him. Freeze Mage didn't work in game one. Ecop was able to very handedly win that game with Druid. Uh, but in the next games, we saw him queue up a Dragon Warlock deck that had a copy of Malagos in it, dropped that game. Next game, tried a different strategy, it didn't work. Hunter continued to be on point at every step of the way for show. In game four, Ecop said, if you can't beat him, join him. He went with Hunter, picked up that one. And in the fifth and deciding game, Ecop fell back to one of his strongest decks. Handlock, but show continued to push through with Hunter, ended up getting the right series of draws. Uh, Ecop not able to utilize two Molten Giants. Series goes over to show. Yeah, series went over to show. Now, we saw some really interesting things in that match. We talked about show being a control player before the match, and we were building up the tension for it. And you know what? We saw him play a lot of Hunter there at the end. So it's really interesting to see a player, you know, move away from what they're known for and queue up Hunter three times in a row there. So his next, his next opponent, is going to have to worry about, you know, what is he going to play? Is he going to play more control? Is he going to play more aggressive? You put this in the back of their minds, and that's what makes that's what makes HPL so diverse. It certainly does. Show is on the line for us, though, to give him some of the insights to his strategies and exactly how he tackled this match versus Ecop. Show, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I certainly can. Excellent series there. Uh, we got a couple questions for you. My first and foremost one is, why strangle Thorn Tiger? <laughs> Well, uh, it's between Stranglethorn or Belcher in that spot. And uh, since Echo kind of played more uh, defensive decks and control decks, Stranglethorn Tiger is better than a Belcher. Yeah, I can see. I mean, it, it did some work there in some of these games. Now, the game you got in 10 points of damage with it, when you hit the second time with Stranglethorn Tiger, did you think you had the game locked up? Uh, which game was that? Uh, I think it was, it was uh, game four, game I believe four. it was, yeah. when Ecop tied up the series. You got in two strikes with a Stranglethorn Tiger consecutively, and he ended up having enough damage to continue to push through. Uh, well, uh, I kind of got card starved there in the beginning, so I didn't have much to follow up with that. And he had a Savannah High main on the field, so I actually thought I was behind still. Okay. Show, congratulations on your win, uh, Tanner Grace here. What made you. you queue up Hunter three times in a row there in the series? Well, uh, I think based on what they played the previous three games, I think Hunter was a good choice. And for the last game, I was like thinking, he won't expect me to pick Hunter again, so I just can pick it again. No one throws rock three times in a <laughs> row. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, excellent stuff. What do, you, what do you think about the format here in HPL, the ability for you to play anything that you want at any time? Yeah, it's very interesting. It's, I'm not really used to this. I think I played this, this in the beginning of my career in some ESL tournaments, but I wasn't really fond of it. But it's very interesting. Uh, I kind of made a thing here that I, I swapped Explosive Trap with, for uh, Snake Trap, which kind of... Uh, Mind fucked uh, Echo there, I think, in the Mage versus Hunter series. Because he thought it, it was probably explosive or freezing. So he went for my minions to pro to see if it's uh, freezing, but then he pro procked the uh, snakes. So you can change your deck how you want uh, based on what, what you're seeing. So that's very interesting. So it really favors the, the innovative deck builder, or at least uh, changing small cards here and there as well as trying to abuse your opponent's style based on what they previously played, which is exactly what you did in that series. And I think it's what closes it out for you. Yeah, I think so too. All right, All right well, thank you for your time, Show. Now, we're going to actually move on from here. Thank you, thank Show. You. You, you won a quick match, or not a quick match, but a grueling match against Ecop here, three to two. Guys, stick around. We have another match for you. We have Dog versus Cranage coming up. You're watching Hearthstone on PvP Live.